Hey guys, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the DJI Mini 2's photo performance. And for that, I just went out and flew a bit. I loaded the photos into Lightroom, and please remember, the DJI Mini 2 gives us a 12 megapixel camera with a total resolution of 4,000 times 3,000 in a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. So unlike uh, other cameras we usually review on this channel, we will not be able to punch in and zoom like eight times and still have super clear details. Okay, the image you're currently looking at, in my opinion, is a pretty good image because we have uh, we have bright spots, we have dark spots, uh, and we have a pretty broad um, color palette going on here. Once again, as we said in the DJI Pocket 2 review, uh, it's it's a beautiful shot. We could upload this to social media and it would be fine. If we zoom in to like 200%, we will see, all right, uh, the image isn't that clear anymore, but that's mainly due to the fact that it is first a tiny sensor and second only a 12 megapixel camera. So uh, let's see what we what we can see in this image. And uh, one thing which is like the first thing I always uh, take a look at when I test the camera is do we have an abnormal amount of uh, chromatic aberration. And if you take a look at, for example, this um, flag over here, yeah, we have some purple fringing going on. If we go over to the waterfalls, we will see, all right, the further we go, yeah, there is some purple uh, fringing going on in the water. We have some chromatic aberration, definitely. But honestly, if we zoom out, the chromatic aberration does not seem apparent, at least not to me, when I just look over it. So uh, I would not um, mention this as a problem. However, let's see how well um, the standard setting in Lightroom can deal with that. And I imagine by the amount of this uh, fringing and the aberration, it will do just fine. So let's go down to the lens correction, say remove chromatic aberration and yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much gone here. Uh, we could do some touch-ups in Photoshop if you want to. And here in the water, it's pretty much gone. So let's let's enable it or disable it one more time. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. So uh, the chromatic aberration, in my opinion, absolutely no problem. So uh, let's let's see how well the camera is holding up in darker areas in terms of noise. So let's zoom in into uh, this spot, which is rather dark. Uh, the only thing I'm noticing is if we go into like the trees on the other side of the the river, the Rhine, um, we start to have like a, a pixel mess. But again, this is due to its um, rather low resolution of the of the of the camera, uh, four thousand by three thousand pixel. So uh, that's like the only thing which um, which comes to my mind when I look at this picture and think of noise. And honestly, there's not really any noise going on, which I could point to and say that's that's unacceptable. Um, speaking of noise and ISO performance, um, let's see in what settings this photo was shot. So this photo was shot in ISO 100. Okay, yeah, sure. If, if, if we would have seen noise problems with ISO 100, that would be a very bad sign. Let's go to the next one, which is a similar one, which is more focused on um, the water, like the dark areas and uh, some bright areas with the, with the white water. What do, you, what do you call that? Gush? I have no idea. All right, so uh, here, once again, Let's zoom in. And again, yeah, there is the chromatic aberration we saw before. And this time I have to say here, this might be noise uh, I'm seeing. So let's let's remove the chromatic aberration really quick. All right, yeah, mostly gone. As to be expected, beautiful. Let's remove it. Not, not that kind of problem. But yeah, here, I'm not sure if this is uh, image noise or if, if it's just uh, too many details for the sensor to, to catch on. So uh, let's see, what, what uh, ISO was this shot at? This was also shot at ISO 100, yeah. Then most likely it is, uh, in fact, just uh, too many details for the sensor to really uh, resolve. All right. Uh, something I see here is, yeah, we have some... We have some color noise going on in the water, um, but, but please uh, note, we are 200% zoomed in. Um, if we go to 100% one, zoom, yeah, it is, it is, a, yeah, kinda is noticeable still, 
but as a whole image, no problem. So if we, if we get here to to an area where we have uh, straight lines, um, do we have any problems with uh, chromatic aberration? We couldn't could not get rid of with the standard uh, removing tool. So let's get it into two hundred percent. So there's nothing apparent at like the really. So there's nothing apparent here. Everything looks fine. Again, with the branches of the trees, especially in the dark areas, uh, we have some kind of noise slash not enough uh, pixels to re resolve the details going on. But I think given the price point and the fact that this is mainly a drone, not a problem, not a problem. I could upload this to social media and would be fine. By the way, speaking of noise, I guess the best spot to see the noise in this image is down here. Um, yeah, again, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, let's see what happens if we just crank up some clarity here real quick. Beep. Yeah. Nah, nah, it stays the way it is. But yeah, sure, definitely not a bad camera. All right, so those were two shots which were uh, which, were, which were taken in pretty good lighting conditions, given that we could shoot with ISO 100. I mean, given that this is a $450 camera, which happens to be able to fly and shoot these kinds of pictures, there's not really something I want to complain about. Uh, sure, there's some things if you go into pixel peeping, which I don't like, but hey, look, I mean, in the end, it comes down to two things. Actually, three. Do we have chromatic aberration, which is destroying the picture? No, we don't. Do we have noise, which is just destroying everything? Not as far as I have seen, but apparently we had two good days when it comes to lighting. By the way, a low light performance test of the DJI Mini 2 will be up soon on my channel. To not miss that, make sure to click the link up there in the info card because there's the playlist with all the DJI Mini 2 videos. Uh, and the third thing, of course, is sharpness. And sharpness, to be honest, it is not the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, this most likely is due to the fact that this is a super tiny 12 megapixel uh, sensor. And second, it is most likely due to the fact that DJI is not sharpening the images uh, in post. So uh, thanks Lord, uh, we get the true raw uh, photos we can edit. So if we have to sharpen them, we can sharpen them ourselves in Photoshop or Lightroom. As I said at the beginning of the video, the photos as it is just look fine. Only if we go in and pixel peep, there are some issues. But again, 450 USD for a camera that shoots this kind of quality and is able to fly, sorry, um, really not much to complain. Sure, I understand that we are not quite talking the same quality and resolution uh, like we had with the one inch Hasselblad sensor in the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, but um, sorry, this is like what, half the price or even less? So yeah, um, really. My, my, my impression of the DJI Mini 2's image performance, solid, absolutely solid. I think it's, I think it's good. And believe me, if it's not good, I say it. Just go and check out my DJI Pocket 2 video about the image quality. Man, that thing wasn't good. All right, so I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching this video. In case you liked it, please, 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 please like this video and click the, the playlist displayed here because this is the playlist with all our DJI Mini 2 videos.